Tonight on Mellow TV Sports, Janiel Fowler continues her fine form in the Suncorp Super Netball League. Rambler is silent withdraws from the CPL as the Jamaica Talibas assistant coach. And reform requested for the Board of Cricket West Indies. We start to Mellow TV Sports with netball as Jamaican goal shooter Janiel Fowler today continued her fine form in the circle but again could not help her West Coast Fever team to stave off defeat in the Suncorp Super Netball League in Australia. Fowler scored 58 of 66 attempts but the Fever lost 68-75 to the Giants for a second straight defeat in three days as they dropped to fourth in the standings with four points, two losses and a win. The Jamaican continues to lead the league with goals 163, attempts at goal 178, while grabbing an offensive rebound of 7. Fowler also has 7 rebounds and amassing 302 net points for 3rd on the leaderboard. Ramelda Aiken continues to lead that category with 18. Aiken, meanwhile, led the Queensland Firebirds with 37 of 42 attempts as they suffered another loss going down 54-58 to the Collingwood Magpies. Shimona Nelson led the Magpies with 42 of 45 goal attempts. Goal defense Jodian Ward made 11 passes with two turnovers in the back court. This was the Magpies' first win in three tries while the Thunderbirds are one and two. Going on to the NBA news now, Kyle Kuzma produced a last gasp game winner to help the Los Angeles Lakers to victory over the Denver Nuggets while the Toronto Raptors came out on top in their clash with the Milwaukee Bucks at the top of the NBA Eastern Conference last night. Kuzma's three-pointer with 0.4 seconds left on the clock lifted the Lakers to a 124-121 victory over the Denver Nuggets. LeBron James had 29 points and 12 assists for the Lakers, who snapped their three-game losing streak, while Anthony Davis finished with 27 points and Cal Kuzma assisted with 25. Reserve guard P.J. Dozier had 18 points to lead the Nuggets, who had eight players reaching double figures. Chris Boucher had a career-best 25 points on the night to go with 11 boards as the Toronto Raptors defeated the Milwaukee Bucks 104-106 to with the first time in three meetings this season. Matt Thomas added a career-best 22 points for the Raptors and Norman Powell had 21 points and eight rebounds. Cal Corva scored 19 points for Milwaukee, who have already sealed the number one spot in the Eastern Conference. Toronto have locked the number two seed. Denver, Devin Booker scored 35 points as the Phoenix Suns continued their surprising undefeated run through the NBA bubble, cruising to a 128-101 victory over the short-handed Oklahoma City Thunder. Booker, who sat out the fourth quarter, notched his 90th 30-point game and tied Suns legend Walter Davis for the most 30-point games in franchise history. The Suns, who have won all six seeding games in the bubble and remain in the thick of the race for a playoff berth. Also last night, Dallas Mavericks ran out 122-114 winners over the Utah Jazz, while the Miami Heat won 112-94 against the Indiana Pacers. We bow over to cricket news now. The Jamaica Talawas have lost assistant coach Ramnaresh Sarwan for this season's Caribbean Premier League. Ramnaresh Sarwan has withdrawn from the tournament for personal reasons and has been replaced by former West Indies off spinner Ryan Austin. The Guyanese was earlier this year the subject of a scathing rank by former Talawas captain Chris Gale, who blamed Sarwan for him not being retained by the team. Sarwan joins players Andre McCarthy, Javor Royal, and South African Tabraj Shamsi on not going to the tournament. Finally, in the sports news tonight, another recommendation has been made for Cricket West Indies to undertake comprehensive reform and a restructuring of its board to achieve greater efficiency in managing the sport 
across the region. The latest recommendation comes from a governance report authored by a team chaired by Jamaican businessman and Senator Don Webby. It has called for a reduction in the size of the board and a greater diversity in gender and skill set in its composition. Further, the report has also proposed a redefinition of the roles of the president and vice president to make them more non-executive and has mooted a drastic reduction in internal committees in an aim to address the old bureaucratic structure. CWI President Ricky Skerritt, whose administration commissioned the report after coming to office last year, said it was now in the hands of the directors but hoped to see its ultimate implementation. Currently, the board comprises of 18 members and a single woman, Trinidadian attorney Demer Coriat Patton. The report has also recommended the formation of a nominations committee to identify and evaluate potential directors and to nominate further directors and committee members and slashing of the current committee structure from 12 to 5. And those are the stories making sports news tonight. We now head back to the news desk with Shelly and Hill. Thank you so much, Christopher. And now to end tonight's newscast, here are the main points. Prime Minister Andrew Holness announces that nomination day is August 18 and the general election will be held on September 3. Minister of Local Government and Community Development announces that 17 beaches and 19 rivers will be closed for 14 days. Jamaica Debates Commission in preparation mode for the national political debates and Office of the Prime Minister temporarily suspends operations at one of its offices due to a suspected COVID-19 case. And that's our news package for you tonight. Thank you for tuning in to Mellow TV Evening News at 8. I am Shelley Hill. Stay safe and pleasant viewing.